Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery, and today we are continuing our series of my favorite uh, colors. And today we're going to do blues and greens. <clears throat> and I've divided this up into warm, cool, dark, and earthy blues. So my very favorite uh, warm blue is pretty much has to be the standard ultramarine blue. My favorite is by Senoyer. It's called Ultramarine Blue Deep, Ultramarine Deep, and it's made with PV29 and they add a little PV15. It's just a beautiful ultramarine and um, there are a lot of great ultramarines out there. Uh, M. Graham makes a nice one. This is Coors Ultramarine. This is My Merry Blue. This is Da Vinci. This is uh, My Merry Blue again for some reason. I'm, oh, that's their dark. Oh, that's their light and their dark, which is kind of strange because the light is darker than the dark. So I'm not sure about that. So that is my favorite warm blue. It's a very practical blue and it, it's uh, just invaluable in mixes. And that's why I've chosen it. My cool blue, um, there are a lot of different choices for a cool blue, but my very favorite <clears throat> cool, what I call a cool blue is a cerulean blue. My current favorite is Daniel Smith's cerulean blue chromium. Uh, it's a PB36, but I also really like uh, cerulean blue by Senoyer. Here is, uh, Senoye makes a cerulean blue red shade. Here's Turner's. And my other really, um, it's a, of course, Verditer is more on the cool side, but I love Verditer blue. Just throw that out there. But it didn't make it in the final four. My favorite dark blue. My favorite dark blue is Indanthrine or Indanthrone blue. Here's Daniel Smith's. Here's Da Vinci's. In My Merry Blue, it is called Fayence Blue. And it is PB60. Um, Here's Windsor Newton's. All the Indanthrines are really beautiful. Um, M. Graham makes a really lovely one. And lastly, my favorite earthy blue, and this earthy category is kind of loose. I just put whatever my favorite happens to be in there. And so I've chosen to make cobalt blue my earthy blue. My favorite cobalt blue currently is by Core, and it's a PB28. Here's My Mary Blue's Cobalt Blue. Here's Da Vinci's Cobalt Blue, which is also, that's Cobalt Blue Deep, which is also one of my favorites. This is the regular Cobalt Blue, which I don't care for. I do like their Deep, though. But currently, my favorite is the Core. And there you have it for the Blues. So let's look at the Greens. And my favorite Warm Green, it's probably going to have to be sap green just because it's so um, useful. My current favorite sap green is Core. Even though it has three pigments, I like this better. Uh, here's Senoyer's. Here's M. Graham's, which is also a nice sap green. And you can easily mix your own sap green, which I've done here with PB60, PY150, and PBK7. My other favorite warm uh, green is Green Appetite. I use this all the time. It's a very heavy granulating color. It's by Daniel Smith. But overall, the uh, sap green is a bit more useful and practical. And for a, a uh, cool green, I'm not a big fan of cool greens. And I uh, reluctantly, <laughs> reluctantly put Fallow green in this spot simply for its ability to mix uh, and make beautiful mixes. 
You can take a phthalo green and mix it with any number of colors and get really nice mixtures on its own. I never use it on its own. It's a very unrealistic color. It's also heavily staining, but it is practical for mixes, especially if you want to make a nice black by adding a dark red to it. So I reluctantly added that one. My favorite dark, that's an easy one, my favorite dark green, if we can find it, is Perline Green. Uh, the one I currently use is by Da Vinci. It's PBK 31. Lots of people make a uh, nice Perline Green. Here's Sminkies, which um, looks faded on this, but I, I got this off a dot card, and their dot cards uh, just for your information have very little paint on them so it's really hard to make you really can't make swatches from their um, from their dot cards and my favorite earthy green which i just realized is green appetite so i did put green appetite on there because i just love this color so much it granulates into this beautiful granulation you can't really see it here but it is just fabulous in um, landscapes and just in all just in every use I can come up with I absolutely love it it's probably my favorite green of all times so there you have it there are my favorite blues and greens and I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions or can leave comments below and I'll be happy to um, to help you with your choices and if you'd like to subscribe please do please do so and we will see you soon next up we will do the uh, favorite turquoises and neutrals.